Hey loves, today I wanted to share what I received in my nail kit from school. I started school in January of 2020, so I've been in school for a few months now, and so far it's been pretty good, I've been learning a lot. So everything that you're seeing now came in my C&D acrylic kit. This is probably what I was most excited for, and so far it's been my favorite thing I've learned. As for all the tools and accessories that were in the kit, these are probably my most used items. My school recommended to buy a few of each of these sets of tools so that when we are taking clients, we aren't getting backed up. I'm still a little uncomfortable using all of the cuticle tools because I don't want to cut and make somebody bleed. So I'm still learning how to use a lot of these, but the nice thing is that all of these are disinfectable and so we will be able to reuse them a lot and then when we are in the field, we'll have a little bit of a start um, with some of our items. So that's the nice thing. I think the only complaint I have with this portion of the kit is that we do have to go out and buy more than one. I personally would have rather than added it to the kit and then factored in the price versus us having to go out and buy more because our expectation is is that we have everything that we're going to need and that's not necessarily the case so if you are looking to go to nail school just be prepared to have to go out and buy more supplies and things that you need because at least in our kit we don't necessarily have everything. So personally I prefer more sturdy and straight tips than the ones that were provided in the kit but as for the forms, I really like the forms. They're just shorter, so I know some people really like the long forms. So you don't have as much versatility. Now for the brushes. This was the most frustrating part of my kit because I received two brushes that literally fell apart the first time I used them. So I don't know the brands or the quality of these brushes other than the c &D brush, which as you can see I didn't open because I want to get more comfortable with my acrylic application before I open my expensive brush. The brushes that I use the most are these tan brushes that you see here. They're actually not bad and I actually like that they give us an inexpensive brush and a more expensive brush so that when we are more comfortable, we have a better quality brush. As for these black brushes, these are the two that actually were ruined the first time I used them. So one of them, the handle fell off and they tried to glue it back together and give it back to me. And then the next one, the chunks of hair literally fell out as I was trying to apply my acrylic. So I don't know what's up with those two brushes, but stay away from me. And then this is a gel brush, which I actually haven't used because I don't quite know what its purpose is. So we received one mannequin hand and five Freddy fingers, which are these fake fingers you see here. This is what we practice our acrylic and our manicures on. And they also suggested that we get another hand and 10 more fingers. For files, they gave us a very small number of files, which if you're a nail tech, you'll know these dull down really quick and they're not reusable. So this is probably what I replaced the most. So if you're thinking about going to school, it would be smart to figure out where you can find the best prices of files because you use them on one client and then you can't use them again. So one of my favorite parts of going to the school that I go to, they actually offer a nail drill class, which if you don't know, you actually have to be certified to use a nail drill. So we were able to get certified and take the class, which I've already taken, and this drill actually was a part of our kit. Not this specific drill, this is actually an upgrade, so I did have to pay in like an extra $150 for this specific drill, but it was really nice because it came with all of the bits and pieces and we were able to take a class to see how to properly use it, which I'm still not very comfortable using my drill like at all, and I don't really use it, I prefer hand filing, but it's a nice option because most schools don't offer that. I think the thing that makes me so uncomfortable with using the e-file is the fact that you can seriously damage your client's nails, which is the same with the hand file, but you can really damage them and burn them and that just makes me scared and I've been burned before I have horror stories so it's really important for me personally to learn how to use this because it cuts down your time and that's the way that you can make the most money when you are a nail tech when you are in the field so this is something that I really want to get better at 
So for our textbook, we work out of the My Lady Nail Technology book, which is pretty standard for the industry. So that's everything I got in my nail kit. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays for more. See you guys in my next video.